Yo, what's going on guys? Garen Toplin is a menace right now. He has extremely high win rate builds and he's very easy to play. For your best build possible, it is always every single game. Stride Breaker first, it slows him and speeds you up. and You can use it while spinning or while in queue without having to stand still. Stride Breaker into Phantom Dancer, 12% movement speed constantly with attack speed and crit for your E, extremely viable. Third item situational, it's Dead Man's or Infinity depending on what you need. You could even go Force of Nature third. Level 1's pretty much always Q. Garen shines at level 3, trading off with W. So you'll basically Q, E, W. Uh, and he also shines at 6 for all ins. 6 is typically when you'll find solo kills. You can run him with Ignite, but if your opponent doesn't have a lot of self-healing, there's really no point. So yeah, he was waiting for me to do that. He was... I thought he was going to have his R, but... His pass is going to be on a cooldown. He went for Grass, which... I feel like grass honestly isn't that good. We heal it off. On Garen, if you can take trades, relatively even trades, you're actually winning them because of how much your passive heals you. Because he had to use a potion and we're both about the same health now. Again with the QE. We'll just trade this all the way in. He only got me with one of his multiple empowered autos there. We'll just go ahead and continue to push. Nice thing about pushing early is you hit level 2 first, level 3 first. That's having a whole ability advantage on your opponent. About to get 3. Uh, not quite. We'll get him with something here. Auto W. Got the damage reduction on. Auto Q. I have minion advantage. I'm also full stack conk. I should have traded that in. As awkward as it was. We'll go ahead and use our potion. He's already chugged 2. We'll force his flash or his ghost or whatever. Flash is a little bit longer cooldown than ghost, but still a good trade for us. My Q cleanses slows instantly, so even if Karthus ganks me with wall, I'll just step into it and then press Q to cleanse the slow itself. We have a CS advantage on this guy. Man, I'm hearing some weird sounds right now. Found him with the Q. We'll W block that. I think he stepped forward for that grass block. We'll cancel the E, slap it down. I'm coming. Karthus is down. I need an auto QE is what I need. Auto QE. Oh, and we live. We almost had it. He at least lost CS, so it should be an advantageous trade for us. But we almost lived. If my W was up, anything like that. We want to get team at first. We can't afford it. But uh, almost have it. I guess since we're not playing phase rush again, we actually don't. We're just conquer, triumph, haste, last dance, second one, overgrowth, double AD health. Second one's the safest on Garen. With phase rush, you have to go for. Oh, yikes. You have to go for team at first to be able to proc it consistently. It's got temporary minion advantage. My W's up, so I do want to trade with this guy. With the QE. Trade back. Got my spin on. Really good trade for us. Go back in with the QE. Garen E has really long range. It's like around 200, which is longer than any melee character's autos for the most part. Wait for his R to end. We'll step into him here. We got him flanked. Auto E. He's dead. Our R range is very long. It's like a Thresh auto. You generally use it last because it reaches the farthest. So they're trying to escape. Yeah, he's kind of looking for it here. He doesn't have a level 6 power spike. That's probably the worst thing about Udyr is his lack of level six oomph. I'm gonna miss cannon now. Looks like he is actually playing AP Uter though. I could just be patient though. Minions don't stop your passive. It's gotta be champs or turrets.
My W's up. I'm down to trade. Yeah, I'll just shield it off. It's fine. We got our E down. Any character that you can interact with your E while they're using their main move is a decent matchup for Garen. So if they're a main source of damage, because they can't cancel your E, Garen's E is uncancelable. Even if they see CS, they're still getting hit by it. He's just kind of trying to poke me down. I need my R to kill him. He's throwing out empowered R to throw off my passive, which he just did. There it is, and there it is. Looks like Karth is coming top to a degree. He probably based if I had to guess. I'm gonna head over to Grubs, try to help out with those. Well, I guess he doesn't need me after all. Maybe I get plate. Kali's there, that's bad. Uder's about to be here. We just need to dash to minion. Finish Karth. Auto cute. Oh wow. Yeah, I don't think we win that 2v3. Plus, I got two plates and crashed a fat wave. Auto cute. Yeah, I got two plates. Uder lost like two waves. I'll take that trade. Wasted my W there. He has tier, so he's not really playing for solo killing me necessarily unless he's just trying to poke I'm getting kind of close to uh, full item I could try hitting it from the back even with an auto QE even if I take a single turret shot it's kind of good they don't cancel my passive either. Get him with the QE. He's, I think he's dead here, actually. Auto R. Yeah, he's just a goner. I don't die at all. I have Triumph Heal against Karthusar. Still have my Flash as well. Cancel E for a Q. You can take advantage of your Q speed up while on E. So if we're already E, we can use Q for speed up. And once our E ends, we can just use the damage silence part of the Q or cancel our E early to smack him with the Q burst. Kind of want to stick around until I can uh, use my teleport. So you're going to stop my back. Let's see. I guess we just win this, huh? Yeah, we just win this. Flash QE. It needs Zen to get some. This guy is. No, we don't win this. We don't win this. He's on Swifties. I don't have my R. He's crazy fast. Zen had to slow him sooner, but even then, with the Swifties, it's tricky. I have my TP. I don't mind backing. You away from that. Really weird Karthus gank. Very odd Karthus gank. I don't really want him to get cannon. QEW. Man, I am getting wrecked. Well, Uder got my shutdown. That sucks. I should have just base and spent gold. I was being greedy because my R was about to be up and I wanted to kill Udyr. Oh well. He's staying. I'll TP. Get a big chunk of his turret. He's going to get at least one plate here. I don't even remember dying a second time. I only remember dying once.
Where is he recalling? Yeah, you don't really have time to back, bud. He's just dead if he stays. He's got a big shield on. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Q E R. Oh, where's my R? I pressed it, but <laughs> I guess it doesn't count. My R killed there easy. That's so lame. He's losing this fight so hard. Almost had him too. Got him with the Q. We already had Conk full stack, so we had a lot of extra damage there. Pass is about to kick in as well. That's one nice thing about Conquer, Garen. Your damage output's way higher in these type of fights compared to Phase Rush Garen. Phase Rush Garen has a lot more survivability, which is good. Got to remember to use your Stride Breaker. Usually use that at the start of your combo to get in range for the Q. So you Q at them, hit them with Stride Break, then you land the QE. QE stride break. If I had a uh, phase rush here, I would easily live, but. I don't, so. I still win it, though. <laughs> I actually killed Karthus, too. Well, maybe not. Oh! My W is up. I literally killed Karth there if I dodge any Q. I spill a bunch of water, too. Yeah, if I had any, if I dodge any Q there, I'd 400 health. It's just landing them right under my feet because I'm freaking tier one boots like an idiot. They're full of magic damage. I'll go Mercs. Next up is Phantom. I hope they enjoy it while they can. Cause it's about to get a whole lot uglier for them. Head back top lane with Q spam. It's weird. It makes you feel like you're moving slower when you use your E, but you're actually not. Garen E also has armor penetration if you land enough of it. Big armor pen. 25% per 6 seconds. That's a long time. Oof. Udyr solo killed there. It's unfortunate. I need to get back on his turret. Mm. He might even still be on Herald, I don't know. Auto Q, pop with the stride break E. I don't know why he's so insistent on trading with me. This doesn't stop my passive healing. Auto Q. There's someone else here. Blitz. Random Blitz cr Crank Roam. Where's my team? Got it with Stride Break, baby! Oh, he's dead. The Stride Break still arena. It's too good. Wait, why is Blitz Crank even trying to fight me here? Got my E, his knockup doesn't cancel that. Got on stride break. <clears throat> Full stack conk from my spin. I know his whole team's coming. I should be faster than him with Q. <clears throat> kind of want to get into that bush. There's a high chance he warded it though. Got my E down, stride break, down he goes. That's so busted how Garen E stacks up the conk, it's so freaking good. The count is different hits. He's trying to bait him. Oh! Auto Q, stride break. Alright, we need to get out of there. 
I have red buff heal right now, and I'll have my passive heal in a moment. 29 health per second with red buff heal, and passive heal kicks in right 67 health per second. Don't know if this is warded. But it likely is. Yeah, Uder's not too interested. I guess I'll trade with him underneath turret a bit. Yeah, Stride Breaker is getting me Giga Focus by turret, even if I just auto a minion. He's dead. I don't even have to R. Well, maybe I do. <laughs> His Q did a lot of damage there. I assume he's maxing his R first with playing him Leandre's and all. Alright, not bad. There's no reason to really group for us. I'd rather just stay on the split indefinitely. Karth is about to walk into me. Stride break auto. How did he predict I was going to run way past him on that side? That's wild. I'm just going to flash it. I should be able to outrun her. Stride break E. Down he goes. Full st I am full stack comp, cool. Rip Leona. Call is wildly fast. Nice. Right, I need to spend gold. Whoa, why is Leona doing that? She's going back in for some reason. I'm on 4.2. We'll have Phantom Dancer. We could go Force Nature or Infinity Edge. I'm kind of feeling the Infinity Edge option because my Mercs already give such good value versus their team. Infinity Edge damage is legit. Three full items. The beautiful Garen Trinity. The Phantom Dancer movement speed is why Garen goes for that. It's, uh... It's really, really good. 12% constant is too strong, honestly. Auto queue E stride break, and we move away. He lost more health than us, and we heal back faster than him. Garen R essentially does third of people's health, because that's flat damage plus execute. So against most people, you're doing a third of their HP. We get her with her stride break, catch up, QE. Down she goes, baby. And that's how you stride break. Run at him with Q, pop him stride break. Because you're almost close enough to Q. Let's do something, Leona. Ugh. I'll do something just because she's tanking. Just because she's tanking, it's worth. Oh, mama! That sucks. Uder got a big bounty off that. I should go Kanik. Kanik's a bu 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 busted. Strongest magic item in the game. I've had success on it even with Trish Jungle. It's so strong. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that didn't turn out. Imagine that. Who would have guessed it? Oof. Synchronized souls. That's just boots of mobility. What do you have to do? After traveling units, it just transforms. That's weird. Mm, yeah, I'm going for Kanic. 
It's too good versus their team. They're all magic damage. Even Ezreal has magic damage on his items. <laughs> I thought he lost lane. Who, Joe Biden? Wow, makes sense. I'm so far away from being there. Q on in. Stride break. Nice. I just want to play for kills. If I was playing this game seriously, I'd go for Baron right now. These guys need to feel my power. My power must be felt. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's on the run. Auto E stride break. Nice one. I'm actually faster than Uder by a lot because Phantom Dancer is overpowered. The Phantom Dancer translates to roughly another pair of tier 2 boots at 45 extra movement speed from the 12% bonus movement speed. It's really, really quick. Aw, oh, Zen kill stilled me. Feels bad. Someone right here. Oh, yeah, here he goes. We got a runner! Can't reach him with my stride break. But I will devour his soul nonetheless. Oh, I gotta run, actually. Oh, almost died. Oh! He killed me! Oh my gosh. Ezreal hurts. But the Karthus R, that's a dangerous combo. Ezreal auto plus Karthus R. I'll run off the build with the dead man's help with the against the Ezreal damage and just make me move faster. The only three damage items we truly need is sh we already have it: Stride, Phantom, and Infinity. You'll find that on most characters, they have one to three core damage items. After that, whatever you build doesn't matter that much. For Tristana, I find the only damage items you need is Kraken and Phantom. Like Tristana Jungle. But some characters they more so need three. Three than two. For us, we're already at that point. Let's just get the dragon. We can play Draxel when con. It's hard for us to force a fight because Uder can just toss his empowered R through us. Karthus can land Qs, Ezreal can land Qs. So instead, I'll just take a drag, then we can do Baron. I'm coming. We're empowered E to get through that. There comes Karthasar. Down goes Annie. Doesn't matter too much though. Ideally Leona tanks, so I can do full damage. Whoever tanks does half. They don't do this crap damage. As we got extra 350 gold for breaking our turret. Nice. Boop. Leona last hit it. Wow. <laughs> I can get Kanic here. I kind of want to reset. Yeah, I'm going to reset. The thing is, Kanic's too good not to have. We're going to kill this turret pretty much instantly. What is this? QE. Oh, this is bad. Auto Q. I uh, tried to press R. Didn't work. Oh, if she's lucky that didn't hit. I would have deleted her. Eh, she's on the run. I kind of want to chase. 
Oh, she's running. Oh, she's running again. Oh, no, she's running. Why does League of Legends have all these random mobility nonsense? They have all these. Hit this cone. Grab this portal. Twist it. Grab it. Squeeze it. Taste it. Oh. It's too much. I should have been able to just run her down. <laughs> There's too much garbage. Surprise mystery box. Uh, yeah. All in all, a decent game. I'm happy with what Garen can do. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage struggle against any champions, we were number one, gen number two-ish. Yeah, gen number two and... Ezreal number three. He's actually doing quite a bit of damage. I'm a little surprised by that. Damage taken. We were middle high. Self mitigated. We were the most. And for high value. On all, Garen feels good. Conquer Garen, Phase Rush Garen. They're both good. If we're going to play him, Phase Rush. A little less kill potential early game, but all in all, way more survivability from ganks. Something to take into account. He's too easy. Strikebreaker, Fan Dancer. You don't even have to think about it. Every single game, regardless of matchup. Stridebreaker Fan Dancer. The only rare exception is if you're against someone who's healing too much, you can go Mortal Reminder, then Phantom Dancer. But outside of that, it's just like Stridebreaker Phantom Dancer 99% of the games. If you enjoyed this Garen video, let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.